Weapon design is the cornerstone of any great game. Dispatching foes needs to take a mixture of skill and power for gameplay to be elevated to the upper echelon of satisfaction. Sometimes nukes, bullets, and grenades feel a little barren and cold. Hey everyone, it's Andrew from Curse, and today we are getting up close and personal to our rivals with some of the best swords in gaming. The contrast of melee versus guns is never more apparent than in the Halo universe. The Covenant's energy sword is comprised of magnetically sealed, partially ionized gas shaped into blades surrounding the hilt. This deadly blade does have its downside, however. Using it on an enemy drains the sword's energy by 10% each time. So grab it when you can and relish all of those one-hit kills while they last. One of the most iconic weapons in the Warcraft universe comes with a dark twist. In Warcraft 3, Arthas journeys to find Frostmourne, a glorious icy blade, and ignores the warning left on its pedestal. Whomever takes up this blade shall wield power eternal. Just as the blade rends flesh, so must power scar the spirit. Now armed with the weapon, Frostmourne projects voices into his head and he goes home to kill his father, allowing the undead to attack his city. Vengeance always seems to come with a price. The Cypher from the Strider series has two separate handles. This famous sword can be swung similar to a tonfa or a police baton, only with far deadlier results. Infused with plasma energy, it can cut through the air in a huge arc, and requires expert skill from the bearer so that they do not hurt themselves. In the latest game, the Cypher generates plasma in tune with Strider Hiryu's psychic ability, allowing him to alter the energy to emit heat, cold, and even magnetic properties. The first game in the Soul Calibur series was actually named after the most powerful weapon in the story, the mighty Soul Edge. Containing the demonic soul of Inferno, this wicked blade changes shape depending on the bearer and grants them immense power. Unfortunately, it also steals life from its owner at the same time, corrupting them and causing them to forcefully satiate the weapon's bloodlust with constant offensive strikes. The user's strength of will must be very high to resist being controlled by the weapon, whose only goal is to consume the souls of its victims. You'll never meet a man more angry than Kratos in the God of War series. Initially, Ares, the God of War, grants Kratos the Blades of Chaos, powerful short swords permanently grafted to the user's arms by chains. With each hit against an enemy, they explode with fire. However, once Kratos found out that Ares was responsible for the death of his family, he turned on his former master and Ares took them away. Later in the series, the goddess Athena creates similar weapons, the Blades of Athena for Kratos, which glow blue as they are infused with his new god powers. During his journey, Kratos falls into the river Styx, which ruins the blades. Athena takes their remnants and turns them into the Blades of Exile, allowing Kratos to complete his mission of retaliation. The most powerful weapon in the world of Nazgoth takes its rightful place in our list. The Reaver in the Legacy of Cain series is easy to recognize, with its serpent-like blade and miniature vampire skull on the hilt. Typically used by Cain the Vampire, this enhanced weapon of nastiness devoured the blood of its victims until it came into contact with Raziel, a wraith whose soul gets attached to the blade. As this point on, it is known as the Soul Reaver and is able to devour the souls of its victims. During the story, the player finds out how Raziel's soul escapes the blade and becomes a weapon for him in energy form, which he calls the Wraith Blade, that gets permanently attached to his arm. The physical strength needed to wield Cloud Strife's classic weapon in Final Fantasy VII must be immense. Shown on the game cover and in all cutscenes, the Buster Sword is approximately 6 feet long and at least 1 foot wide. Some estimates place this Super Sword at roughly 80 pounds, yet Cloud swings it with little effort. You can further enhance the blade by placing two materia in the sword's sockets. But what you might not know is that Cloud is actually the third person to wield this weapon. First was Angeal Hewley, a soldier from Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII on the PSP, and later was given to Zack Fair in the same game. Zack gets gunned down during the game, and as he lays dying, grants Cloud his most iconic weapon. Xenoblade Chronicles' main story revolves around the mythical Monado Sword. The player controls Shulk, who goes on a journey to retrieve the blade and unlocks its ultimate potential. 
With the Monado, the wielder can gain farsight into the past and future events and can manipulate the world. Once activated, the sword opens up and ignites an energy beam that cuts enemies down to size, but like previous entries, requires a great strength of character to properly control it. You can also see this weapon in the Wii U version of Super Smash Bros., where Shulk can use his various Monado arts to enhance his abilities. When you need a more elegant weapon for a more civilized age, look no further than the famous lightsaber. Seen in many Star Wars games throughout the years, the most famous blade in all of cinema has a unmistakable hum and shines in various colors. The creation of the weapon has been used to signify a Jedi's training, and the weapon can be used to cut through nearly anything. In the Star Wars universe, it can also be used to deflect energy blasts, absorb force lightning, and can even be used to cut through hardened metal. Some games like Jedi Knight 2 and Jedi Academy let you choose the color and use dual blades. The lightsaber will always remain a favorite, even if it's from a galaxy that's far, far away. The final sword in our list appeared in The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. I'm speaking, of course, of the Master Sword. The majestic weapon is seen throughout a dozen games since, and is the sword of choice for those pure of heart. During its first incarnation, the player must obtain three pendants of virtue in order to be able to retrieve it from the pedestal of time. Most of the history of the weapon is revealed in The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Apparently, the goddess of Hylia created a soul named Fi that lives within the fabled blade in order to help the hero capable of wielding it. Not only can the sword repel evil, it can also be used as a key to travel to different time periods in the Temple of Time, and also journey into the wondrous Sacred Realm and the Temple of Light. Hacking and slashing can be a blast, but there are many famous swords in gaming. Which ones would you have added to the list? Let us know in the comments below, and enjoy the game.